Hello. So, earlier we got ourselves a Gigabyte Radeon RX Vega 64 during the week of launch. And we've been testing its mining capabilities, hash rate, uh, overclocking abilities. And our main concern was the thermal throttling was the main issue, preventing the uh, hash rate from going higher than 41 mega hashes per second. So, in this video, we're going to do a complete teardown so we can, re we can replace the thermal paste that was installed at the factory uh, with Arctic Silver 5 and see if that will improve the overall thermal performance. This video card consists of all Philips screws. So you really just need one, maybe two uh, screwdrivers. Now enjoy the teardown video. We did encounter a couple stubborn screws. We'll try a different tool in a little bit, but we're gonna move on. The back play comes off after removing six screws and it is metal. It did felt like plastic before, but after removal, we can confirm it is metal. We'll move on to those two stubborn screws. Now when you get to this point, there is a power cable that connects and supply power to the uh, Radeon logo on the side of the video card that lights up. It, it is in there pretty good and we had a little trouble removing it. So actually the the problem with a lot bigger, the, it turns out the whole socket came off, uh, the soldering didn't hold. But we're no stranger to solder job, so when we get to a point where we can re-solder this socket, we'll do so. We'll set it aside for now. And we'll be extra careful with the fan header. Luckily, this one come off pretty easy. Lastly, we'll remove the four screws that holds the tension bracket and the heat sink together. Now, this is the part where you void your warranty, so unless you're ready to do so, we would advise against it.
flip it over, we will see the heat sink with a copper plate and aluminum fins. This is a pretty common combo. And you can see that nasty thermal paste is what we're going to remove and apply with something much better. Beneath it, there is a metal black plate that also supplies a thermal solution for the VRAM chips. flip it over, you see some of the thermal pads that are still in place. These help to transfer heat from the VRAM chips to the metal black plate. Looking at the PCB board, you can still see some of the thermal pads on the VRAM chips. This design is almost identical as the Vega Frontier Edition with lots of room. I'm pretty sure manufacturers like Asus and MSI will be rearranging the layout and having their own PCB board layout in their later editions of the RX Vega. Hope you've all enjoyed the teardown video. Um, we will be doing another video specifically to show you how to remove and apply thermal paste. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like this video and would like to see more of this type, give it thumbs up. Thank you.